Hello everybody and welcome to a second tutorial on file handling in Java. So in this tutorial we'll be exploring how we can uh, manipulate that is create and retrieve data from binary files that were created in Java. So what exactly are binary files? So binary files are those files which do not have a .txt extension uh, at the end of them. We all know what are .txt extension files. Those are commonly referred to as text files and you can view their contents by opening them using a standard text editor. Say we have this uh, file called java.txt in my desktop. So if I try to open this using my notepad text editor or any other text editor for that matter, I can just check the contents of this text file. So this is essentially a text file uh, and it contains data in a format that is understandable, that is it is intelligible for us human beings. All right but uh, binary files are those files that contain data that is not accessible to humans directly so for example mm, uh, say dat files mp4 files or any other files apart from uh, those that have a dot txt ex extension those kind of files are commonly known as uh, those kind of files are commonly known as binary files so let me just give you an example of a binary file so let me see if I have any binary files here or not. Mm, may not be here. So yeah. So you can see that I have a result dot dat file over here. So dot dat is a binary f is an extension that is commonly used with binary files. And let me if I try and open it using Notepad plus plus. So you can see that it contains some data, but I cannot view it right now. When I try to open it in Notepad plus plus, all it shows me is a bunch of garbled characters and these characters are represent some unicode or maybe ascii code values i'm not sure what they are representing here but i cannot make out i cannot make head or tail out of these characters so essentially text files that is the character oriented files so text files that are character oriented files those files are human readable but the binary files binary files they contain data that is not in a format that can be understood by us human beings so uh, and uh, so let me just write it down for you text files so text files use character base stream in java and binary files that contain binary data they use byte oriented stream in java so for text files uh, you have uh, we have explored in our previous tutorial how we can manipulate text files in java so to create a text file what we did was we created an object of that file using a file writer class and then we passed that object through a method of buffered writer and then we pass the method of buffered writer that is the object of buffered writer through a print writer class so that is what we did for creating uh, a text file and for reading back that particular file that is to access the data that was stored in that file we used to open it using file writer and uh, then we had to pass that object of that file writer class sorry file reader class through a buffered reader object so that was the method of dealing with text files but what is the method for dealing with binary files the method is pretty much the same but instead of file reader writer or buffered uh, buffered writer we'll be using something different let us take a look at the code for this first program that we have over here so it says write a program to create a binary file named result.dat so uh, and result of that to store the names and registration numbers of sub some students so we are going to create a file called result.dat which will store the names and registration numbers of some students they haven't specified how many students but we can take as many as we want so let me just take a look at the code here and I'll explain to you how we proceed how we are supposed to proceed with this <coughs> so here we are dealing with something called byte oriented stream so previously while dealing with text files we knew that those were character based streams but binary files that contain binary data though they are they are a part of byte oriented streams in java and whenever we are trying to create a binary file we have to use something called file output stream all right 
So first of all, in order to create a file of any name, we'll have to create an object of file output stream class and we'll have to pass the name of that file as an argument to that file output stream object. And after that, and after that we will um, pass that object of that was created in the first step through a uh, through a object of a data output stream class. Okay. And the next step involves passing that. Uh, oh no, we, there is no next step. So these are the two two steps that we need to follow. Th these are the two steps that we need to implement first of all, if we want to create a file using uh, create a binary file using Java. So the first step is to create a file output stream object and sp uh, specify the complete or relative path, absolute or relative path of that file name. So our file here is called result.dat, but I have uh, used result2.dat. It is essentially the same. You can use whatever name you want, it doesn't matter. So, um, uh, and this file is located in the C uh, Java directory, which is located in C drive. And we all know why these double slashes are used instead of single slashes. That is because um, single slashes are treated by Java as escape characters. If you do not know what are escape characters, please look them up on the internet and you will find many of examples. So in order to make sure that these file names are not treated ad as escape characters, we employ two slashes instead of one. And that, that makes sure that our code runs properly. That is done to ensure that our code runs without any glitches. So first step, we create an object of file output stream and pass the name of that file as an argument to, to file output stream. And in the next step, what we do is we pass the uh, object of file output stream through another object of we pass it as a parameter through another object of data output stream class all right and uh, here uh, our responsibility that is our task was to create the file called binary file called result.dat and we store the names and registration numbers of some students so let me just delete these two files we already have some files in this directory so let me get rid of them so I am restoring the name to result.dat. Let me save it now. And uh, okay, let me name it result3.dat. Okay. Or rather, let me uh, stick with result.dat only. Doesn't matter. So uh, here we have taken an object of buffered reader class because uh, the thing is, we'll be taking an input. We'll have to take the names of the students and the registration numbers as input from the user. And in, dot in order to take the input from the user, we use the buffered reader class. And we pass an object of input stream reader into the buffered reader class. That is a parameter. We pass the object of input stream reader as a parameter through the buffered reader object. And, first and here we have taken uh, a loop that executes four times. That is, we'll take the names and registration numbers of four students. In the first step, we uh, ask the user to enter the name, and then we uh, we read the name using an object of buffered reader that is br dot read line method. And in the next step, you can see that what we have done is we have used something called out dot write utf name. So what it does is it writes the name that was uh, entered by the user that is a string object. So the name that the user entered was actually stored in a variable at a, in a string variable called name and in order to write the data into the binary file we use something called write utf so whenever we are trying to write some string data into a binary file we use something called write utf all right uh, you you might recall that while using uh, while writing data to a uh, text file we used something called print writer and here instead of print writer we are using write utf okay so write utf is only when we are trying to write data that is in string format and after that we accepted the registration number of the student and we are converting the registration number from string to int using parsing method and then we write the data to the file using write int method so write int is another method that is applicable to binary files and we use it in order to write integer type data to the file and finally we are closing all the 
um, objects of that is uh, buffered reader that is uh, data output stream object in the final step using that out dot close method so let me just run the program quickly and show you what happens so enter the name of student one so let me enter a b so and uh, registration number is 0 1 name of student 2 cd registration number 0 2 and the next one is ef and the name is 0 3 and finally it is gh and the registration number is 0 4 so all this data was uh, copied to this uh, result.dat file so let me check whether this file has been created or not yes indeed the file has been created just now so you can even see the time it was created at precisely at uh, 19 minutes past 8 o'clock so this file was created but unfortunately we cannot access the contents of this file using notepad so uh, this is how we have to view it so in order to access this file now we will go to the second program uh, that de deals in accessing and retrie retrieving the contents of the file that was created in the second step so we'll be exploring that program in our next video so that's this concludes my first tutorial on binary files and i'll see you all in my next video take care everybody